guys and welcome back to my channel my name is precious j for those of you who are new and don't know me um and today i'm going to be talking about some of the reasons why i feel like it is worth it to make a youtube channel and to start recording yourself even if nobody watches um at the moment i have like 160 subscribers i'm not mad at it granted i do wish i could have more but um i've learned so much with creating a youtube channel and I've grown so much with creating a YouTube channel and starting to post and I haven't even like really promoted myself anywhere else outside of YouTube. I just wanted there to be content on the website first. So I'm kind of just doing this for myself. But I'm gonna give you guys some reasons why if you're doubting yourself, if you're not sure if you want to do this, just go and start it. It's so worth it. The benefits are so far more than anything that could happen. Um, just with based off of YouTube like you guys can see it's so much more than that and I'm about to tell you some reasons so I have my little notebook here with some of my notes in it and I'm just gonna go so I feel like as you guys can tell over the time it's been about a year for me um, October I think of last year made my first video when I posted but from then that first video to now I feel like my confidence has just become has just grown I've become more confident in myself I've made my own decisions and this I've I used to self-doubt myself but I feel like with this if I know I want to make a video I'm going to make a video this is my idea this is how I'm going to do it this is kind of what I do if I want my background to be a certain way this is me doing that if I want my clothes if I want makeup that's all me and again since I'm not like promoting it right now it's not I don't have people there are some people who say negative things but I really don't care because it's more lover than anything else but even if there wasn't even if nobody watched it's just the the confidence that I built within myself and the confidence that I have now uh just by posting and not caring who sees it like I don't know I guess I have 160 subscribers I've maybe told five people like my mom my best friend knows um a couple people like five people max know so the fact that i have maybe 155 subscribers that i have no clue who they are but who just subscribe to the channel and want to get to know me and want to see more about me I, that's if that's not a confident boost then i don't know what it is just have one person who wants to see it, and i don't know what it is um it's just causing myself to go out so when i make videos and i'm like a solo date I'm doing that by myself. I'm going out by myself nine times out of ten. If I'm out um, doing going to Sephora, that's what I do sometimes, or or wherever I may go. Most of the time, I'm by myself. When I went to the Chris Brown concert, that was by myself. When I went to the Dreamville Festival, that was by myself. Like I'm doing things by myself, and this is the first year that I've really truly done that. And I think a lot of that has to do with being on YouTube and knowing that there are people who do it themselves every day. So why can't I? Knowing that there are people who just, like it's, it's so much safer than, first of all, than you think it is. And it's just, again, YouTube is something that I've wanted to do. I wanted to start a channel back in 2000 and I wanna say 14 when I first went to college. I wanted to be like, yeah, I would be a YouTube girly and like moving into a dorm, there's no, people posting about moving into ODU as I went to school I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna be one of the first people to do it I just felt I doubted myself so much I had people telling me don't do that no one's gonna watch like no one wanna watch so this is me telling you someone will watch and if no one watches it's for yourself it helps boost yourself um so that's a big big thing for me and then even then I can look at like I was today while I was um, at, on my lunch break, I was scrolling through like every comment I've gotten on my YouTube channel. And I was just like, this is people who don't even know me. People who like all they know from me is this and they have positive things to say. Yeah, there will be those con negative people who just want to say something. But that's because they're so down on themselves. They don't know you. So but to have those people who, like I said, want to subscribe to your channel, who want to give leave you positive reviews, it's the best feeling literally like in the world and again these are strangers saying this to you so it's just i appreciate all of you regardless of when i post this years from now there's more of you i just i appreciate all of it i appreciate all of you and it's just an amazing feeling that it gives um me just knowing that there are people there and again like i said even if there weren't people there it's just knowing that i'm doing this for me this is something i've wanted to do and just doing it um, another reason or reason number two that I want to give is you're not 
alone. Um, granted, I've watched a couple of people post videos on the fact that saying that they just wanted to do this for a while, but they felt some type of way. Okay, they have huge followings now. You have people who can relate to you, who may not feel the confidence or may not even want to do a YouTube channel, and they, but they can sit here and relate to everything you're going through. When you sit and say, dang, I want to take a trip, but all my friends that don't have the money, don't have the time to take off, have families, can't take off, like can't get away. So like, I, I want to travel, but what do I do? Oh, wait, I saw pressure went on a trip herself. Let me go to that place and try to do the things she did. And maybe I can do that too. It's just people who can, even if I can one day get everybody together, or a few people together and be like, let's go on a trip together. You guys book here, I'm going here. Let's all go together. Let's meet up and let's have a good time. Like, you never know what could come from it. It's just this, it's, you are not alone. Um, again, you people could go down in the comments and start rela relating off of messages, especially back in my um, cruising video, my top tips, my five tips for cruising. There was comments down there, and if I didn't get to a comment, somebody else got to the comment and could respond. If I said something, someone else could be like, "But if you go on this cruise, it has this benefits." Like, the, as you're not alone. Other people are doing it. Other people are doing the same thing. People can res respond off the comments. People can relate to what you're saying. So even if you may think that, I don't know, you can sit here and say, I like watching birds. There's a there's a thing for watching birds. I like learning about plants. There's a whole group about l l plants. You can sit here and say, I just want to talk about TV shows. All I do is sit at home in my room and do nothing but watch Netflix. That's fantastic. I have watched a YouTuber and all she did, does, she talks about other things, but a main thing that made me watch her videos is because she was talking about uh, shows on Netflix. So it's just whatever you want to do, just go ahead and do it because there's a, there's a community for you. You are not alone. And even me, because I know for some of my videos are kind of like all over the place, but that's me kind of all over the place. I may have a vlog here. I may have a sit down and talk with me. Then I may have a... This is what I wore today, but then I may have like a, let's get serious and talk about how to get a job. Like you just never know where I'm going to take it. Um, you just, it just don't know. So I, ha because that's who I am and that's how I am. That's how I want my channel to be. I don't want it. A lot of people tell you to pick a niche and kind of stick to it and don't go outside of that. I don't think that's true. Granted, I'm not doing this too much to grow. I'm just doing this because I enjoy doing this, but if you had to pick a niche, yes, it would probably be easier to grow because you can sit here and have someone say constantly, okay, and they talked, an episode came out, they talked about the episode, okay, an episode came out, they talked about the episode, okay, like that, they can have something to talk about or a plant. If you can say there's thousands of plants in the world, someone say, okay, we'll talk about this plant this week, talk about this plant next week, you know what to expect. So, but I have folders in my playlist with different things. I have like a work folder talking about work things, I have a vlog. Um, folder playlist talking about my different places I've traveled to so there's different things for different playlists for different things I have so if you don't like my vlogs but you enjoy my hauls that there have hauls up here still for you to watch even if you don't want to watch it but still there's vlogs there's vlogs there's hauls is whatever it's like a wide range of people so kind of trying to gather a whole bunch of different people there's something for everybody that's my big point that I'm trying to make um Another reason that I said just go ahead and start your YouTube channel because why not is because the skills you learn from creating a YouTube channel. You learn to communicate. So having a conversation sometimes, you may not know what to say, when to say it, or how to say it. But when you are speaking to a camera, you're like talking in an empty room by yourself, talking to a camera. It may look weird, but then when you go back and you can hear yourself speak, you know how you sound, you know like, okay, that sentence didn't even make sense. You can learn that. I said, um, 15,000 times, um, between every other word. That's so unnecessary. Let me try to redo it, but without saying, um, let me pause if I don't know what I'm going to say. Knowing that when I talk, I look off to the right a lot and start looking at myself in a reflection is you learn how you speak and how you look to other people. You're learning that skill and that skill is going to benefit you so much outside of just this YouTube thing. If you want to work in a career, it's going to benefit you because you can go and talk to, you can go have an interview and you can now talk to the interviewer and be able to have that eye contact because behind the screen, it's hundreds, if not thousands of people watching you. So you have to go back first and watch yourself because you're your toughest critic. And then you have other people who are judging and telling you and 
you're speaking to. So um, I think communication and how you get the message across is a big thing that you, I learned at least. Um, time management is also part of that. I know that every single Sunday at 2 p.m. I at least want to have a video posted, a full length video, whether that's an eight minute video, whether a 30 minute video. I want something posted every Sunday. Even if I go all week without posting a short or anything, I want Sunday is my day I say I'm going to post by 2, by 2 p.m. That's the day I want to post. It's keeping myself to a schedule is saying, okay, well, if it's Sunday now and I know I just posted a video, I have nothing for next Sunday. I need to figure out how I'm going to film, edit, and get ready to have a video posted by next Sunday. So that's scheduling it out, knowing that I still have to do a video, but I still have a job to take care of. I still have to eat, I still have to grocery shop. Like I don't have kids, but if I did have kids, I still have to take care of my kids, like, and all the other things that come along with it. So time management is a huge thing, is knowing that, hey, I know I have like 12 videos posted, or 12 videos sitting in my camera roll, or my computer or whatever, I need to post and get something edited so I can post it. I can't go out this weekend, guys, or I can't go out tonight because I have X, Y, and Z to do. Is being able to manage your time and your schedule and knowing that this is what I'm gonna do, this is something I want to do. No one's stopping you from doing it but you. So if you ended up um, having someone else come in between, that that's on you and you're not fully invested as you much think you are. Um, YouTube is a lot harder, I want to say, than people may make it look. You make it seem like, okay, you just sit in front of a room with the camera. Yeah, that's what you're doing, but it's the, like I said, the having the coming up with the idea that you're going to talk about, coming up with bullet points and not just sitting in front of a camera and just speaking at the camera. It's, it's, editing is do you want music in the background it's what does your scenery look like is your scenery distracting um it's just everything that kind of comes into play is your face being blocked is the sun up what type of lighting are you going to use it's all of that that comes into play when making a video and if you can manage all that and schedule all that out to have that video and be ready to post by the day you say you're going to post it's like i said the time management skills amazing and I've, the three biggest skills, so like I said, the first one is communication, second one is time measurement, and the third one is having patience. Because yes, I'm on YouTube, I want to grow, um, but it's me thinking that, oh, I saw this YouTuber and she started in, uh, say, January 1, by July 30th, she had a, over a thousand subscribers. That'll be me, that'll be me, that's easy. And then me looking at it and be like, I've been on since October and it is tomorrow is August 1st and I have 160 subscribers. Like I said, I'm not complaining, but being but understanding is not coming overnight. Understanding that my last video I posted, I posted, the day I posted it, I think I had maybe 15 views on it. I was like, oh no, maybe I need to take that video down. Self-doubting, my self-doubting. And then I went back and I look at the video now and I'm like, okay, it has like 120 views on it. It's just being patient with yourself is knowing that it will come. And if it doesn't come, are you okay with that? But when it does come, it's because you earned it. It's not because it came overnight. You had that one video that popped off and everyone's coming to your channel. It's knowing that you've earned it. You put in the time, you've put in the effort that you can be patient and wait for things to come to you. Like you're not, you don't have to go out and force everything you're not paying people to to subscribe to your channel like it is what it is if it happens cool if not you have to uh, accept that it's not it just, it's not happening for you right now so those are the three skills the t three top skills i think i've learned with creating a youtube channel that i yes i have before but the people who really know me know that patience is not one of my things. Like I get so hard on myself. Patience is the one that I'm still currently like focusing on, but it's, un it's I am, I do understand it. I do understand that I do have to have patience. It's like I said, it's not an overnight thing. This puts time, this puts effort. Um, the more effort and time and you put into it, I think the reward would be more grateful. Um, before I was like, I just want subscribers. I just want subscribers. Didn't care. But then now I'm like, I enjoy, even though it's not like a lot of conversation, I enjoy when people reach out to me on Instagram and talk to me. I re I enjoy when people reach out to me in the comments and say things to me. Like I didn't think I would as much as I do, but I actually do enjoy that. I like talking to you guys, especially when you guys can come back and relate to something that I've said in a video. That's so amazing i come and i'd be like oh my god mom look at this because it's just 
it's, it's exciting for me. Um, and then again, the next thing is uh, that even if no one in the world watches my videos, not even if I weren't to watch my videos, even if my mom wouldn't watch my videos, my dad wouldn't watch my videos, no one I know, I could have zero views on my videos right now. I think posting them to YouTube for me is something that I can show my kids in the future is something that I can show. It's like a photo album, but a video photo album that I can save and don't, it's not taking up any of my personal memory. It's, it's beautiful and I love it. It's like not putting it on a cloud. It's literally, this is my life. These are my experiences. These are my things I'm going through. Granted, in 50 years from now, who knows? Like I said, the last video I posted was how I, how I got my job. Who knows in 50 years from now, all that's gonna be completely, irrele completely irrelevant because they're not gonna be, um, one of the th tips I used was, uh, was apply even if you don't have, you apply to the direct website. Some of it, you may not be applying at all in the, in the, they may not be at all direct websites. There may not be, who knows? But that video may not be relevant from 15 years from now. So my kids will be able to, eventually when I do have them, they'll be able to like, really, this is what you did? The style, how I looked, it's just being able to document. It's like a photo album, like I said, that I don't have in my storage. It's something that I can always go back to and be like, dang, this is what I did when I was 28 years old. It's always being able to have that. Um, so yeah, that's exciting. And I, the last tip I, or the last thing I really wanna talk about is that this is something that is feeding my fire this is this is youtube posting making videos posting videos editing videos coming up with content ideas is something that is literally fueling me um as you guys may know i worked previously 12 years in retail and i hated every second of it of course when i was in high school when i first started i was excited because i was like oh my first job yay but then after a while i was like this is not what I want for my future. This is not what I want for my life. Like, this is just not it. I don't want to be working in a grocery store. Some the people I worked with, some of them actually absolutely loved it. But it was just like, I hated customer service, having to someone who was blatantly rude in my face, but me having to smile and like push past it. Me like I had a, once had a lady come for me and be like, um, she gave me the wrong amount or told me the wrong amount. She wrote it down on a piece of paper saying I want 18, um, $108. I was like, okay, cool. I put $108 in the computer. She's like, are you stupid? Did you ever graduate from high school? I'm like, I said 1800, like 1800. I'm like, ma'am, that's not what you said, but I'm not gonna go back and forth with you. Okay, I'll fix it. But me being able to have to put that aside, even though she disrespected me, put that aside because I am in customer service. Me being able to have them to work go into the grocery store at six o'clock in the morning and not getting home till 11 o'clock at night. It's those hours that I don't have to do anymore. I knew I didn't want to do that for the rest of my life. And this, I could always, I can't recall a time where I said I didn't want to do YouTube. Even back when I was, like I said, going to college as a college freshman, when I was 18 years old in 2024, I was like, dang, I want to make a YouTube channel. And I started, I made two videos and I, cause I really tried, I made put them in, but um, I made two videos and then I realized that it was the time I couldn't do. It was a lot of, for me, it was costing money because I was going out and buying stuff, but I didn't really have money. I was a cashier at a grocery store. So, and then going off and then I was a college student at the time. So then I didn't want to take my camera around and record and vlog. I was like, I, the concept and the idea seems great and I see people do it, but can I really take a camera around campus and record myself moving into my dorm and record myself going to the cafe to eat? Can I really record that? And I was like, I didn't think I could. So, I mean, I could, but I didn't think that I personally would have the ability to do that. Was I confident enough to do that? I didn't think I was. So I didn't do it. I regret that now, but like any YouTuber will tell you, the best time to start was yesterday. Like you're missing your opportunity. Even like I said, even if no one subscribes to your channel, even if no one watches it, you will find benefit in making a YouTube channel like within yourself. Um, it's just, it's personal growth that you get from creating a YouTube channel. So I highly, 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 highly recommend you start. You can literally do anything because people, 
either a watch or if not, it's something you enjoy. If you're doing it because you want money, then you're doing it for the wrong reason because it takes a while to get there. I'm not there, clearly, um, but it 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 takes a while. So if you have to actually want to do this. And every YouTube that's big, when I see their videos like this, they will tell you that if you are in it for the money, you're in it for the wrong reason and you're not going to last because it takes money, it takes time, it takes energy and effort and the willingness to do it. And a lot of people end up quitting because of that. If they don't have that one pop-off video, then they end up leaving and quitting because this is not as fast as I wanted it to be. I'm putting too much effort in it. I couldn't go out because I had to make a video. Like, it starts to get at you a little bit, but if you really want it, you'll do it. Well, that's all I have. And I hope this helped. And I hope that this encourages you to get the stuff you have, prop that phone up right now, and just record your first video and post it. Of course, your first content that you put out is not going to be your best content. It's going to get better over time. You're going to realize, okay, this angle works for me. Okay, this lighting works for me. Okay, this content I'm more comfortable talking about. You will get it and you'll thrive from that. But you have to start. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Precious J. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.